like that Carrie, uh, Katy Perry song, we're hot, we're cold, all this stuff. Well, it's, uh, it's pretty common during transitional months, including this one. And on this week's Weather Wise, Jared Shelton explores the large-scale pattern that's responsible for this recent bout of cold weather. On the heels of a mild winter here in the Central Plains, the month of March has ironically trended colder. Believe it or not, this unfortunate pattern was predicted and has everything to do with the bigger picture. In order to understand cold season temperature patterns here in the lower 48, we must go north to the polar regions. Here we find something that many have probably heard of. I'm talking about the polar vortex. Now this feature is essentially an area of very deep, low pressure that typically kind of remains in those polar regions and exists high up in the atmosphere in a place called the stratosphere. Now, when the polar vortex is stable, it generally stays pretty tightly packed and wound up to the north. And often that can give us periods of time where we are at or above average here in much of the lower 48 with that colder air pretty well to the north, essentially where it belongs. There are times though where this polar vortex is disrupted, it weakens and essentially pieces of it can break off and head to the south. And if the vortex is weak enough, this can happen for an extended period of time, leaving weeks of colder weather than normal. A delayed signal for weakening of the polar vortex is often a period of rapid stratospheric warming. Scientists at the Climate Prediction Center observed an episode of such warming back in February ultimately fostering a colder large-scale pattern during the month of March. For News Press Now, I'm meteorologist Jared Shelton.